So with this video, I will show anyone, anyone can do this, transform this rather abused cart, give it another three to four hundred dollars in value, back in as new condition. Your soap, I recommend just a good brand car wash soap that has the correct pH balance for the job. And my preferred way to wash is a soft bristle brush. The scratch does not take much pressure, just a medium to light pressure across the surface. And when you dip in your bucket of soap, I only go halfway. So any loose particles, any solids that may potentially scratch your surface are going to sink down to the bottom of your bucket. So leave them in the bottom of the bucket. We, want, we don't want to deal with those guys. Dip it in the surface, tap it out, there you go. And for drying and regular cleaning, as I said, you're welcome to use a spray detailer, but only microfiber, always microfiber. No other cotton or other blends, just microfiber towels. Uh, leather chamois for drying is fine. I prefer microfiber dry towels. High gloss, low gloss, and this one is infused with carbon black. And in this case, when you have this level of fading and UV damage, I would recommend the black. And that is what we have done. This is the Renew Protect Black. This was just applied five minutes ago. So as you see, that has penetrated bonded with the surface, a copolymer acrylic bond into the surface and seal. Consider Renew Protect as a permanent restoration product. On a golf cart, probably every two years, I would recommend application. Um, and another real quick note is stay away from so-called protectants. Most every one of them is solvent-based because they're combined, it's a combination of uh, silicone and oil of some sort requires a solvent and emulsifier so of course you're literally wiping a solvent an active solvent on the surface so stay away from protectants the key is if it's slippery if it feels greasy then it's junk it's full of solvent and it will literally eat away your surface over time so, easy explanation gloss there's gloss if you let gloss dry in a dish that is what you get. These are the solids that are left. The reflective value would be the zinc and titanium oxides as sunscreen. There's our black product. So this is the black dried in a dish. So that is what you are doing. You're penetrating and locking this down onto the surface. One thing you'll want to do is to seal all your plastics and rubber and vinyl before buffing the gel coat. That way you've sealed over the porous surface and your, your polish, your sealer, will not haze and get into the porous surface of the rubber. And as well, if you like, these dull painted surfaces, you can wipe on a coat of the gloss or the satin or the black. So once your plastics have this level of fading and oxidation, the carbon black has been exhausted from the UV exposure, which is exactly why it's black. Carbon black and your tires, your trim work, they're black because carbon black is a competitive UV absorber. The UV rays hit it and disperse as heat. 
So this is exhausted. There is literally no pigment to enhance with the Renew Protect products currently as is. So in this case, we are going to use heat gun, the heat gun technique, which is a last resort and you have to be very careful with it. You want the key is to keep a, uh, a consistent distance from the surface and consistent movement. Okay, once you've re got the right distance and the right level of heat, you can see it's pulling the elements up through the plastic and restoring the surface of the plastic. Of course, you have to be very careful around your, your paint. You may want to use some type of a device to border and protect your paint, especially on a car and clear coat. Okay, we, now we've got that restored with the heat gun and pull the elements up through the plastic. You would like to very much avoid using the heat gun again. This actually weakens the plastic. So we're going to seal it with the Renew Protect Satin, the lower gloss. Quite a good machine, very strong motor, professional level buffing machine. A little overkill for our job on our little golf cart. It's a very good mid-level machine, very strong motor, great for home use or professional use. My preference for golf cart detailing, for buffing and resurfacing the gel coat body, the acrylic windscreens, dual action, um, well similar to a dual action polisher, which these are, you, you've got oscillation and you also have rotation. This little guy, 2.5 amp to 3 amp motor, um, it's also a benefit to have a speed control dial, um, will do the job quite well with a golf cart. And being this, considering the size and the size of the pad, it's, it's easy to work into the small areas. So as for our pads, let's switch over and talk about our pads. Pads to go with the machine. Um, foam pads are quite diverse in their use, and, a bit, and I kind of prefer foam in many cases. Um, these are Lake County pads. You can see these are low profile pads, so you don't lose a lot of the energy in your machine. It's not absorbed in a large foam pad, so it is. it goes directly to your surface, agitates your surface, which is the intent, develop some heat, the polishing agents, compounds, work to correct the surface. So as I said, Lake County pads, um, if you look at the link down below, I'll give you all the information on the products used today and where to find them. Yellow cutting pad, the orange I consider a polish pad, and Roops pads, very well made, these pads all will last you for multiple uses. So Roops Yellow is the polish. It's got that nice edge, which is quite helpful if you're getting in and around a golf cart. And the green pad would be their cutting pad. A little more aggressive than the Lake County pads, which is a good thing. And also, one of my favorite for golf carts is microfiber. You get a microfiber polishing pad. You can use it to compound and correct a very def um, defective surface or use the same microfiber pad, a clean one, of course, to leave a fine and a finished product on your surface. So as to our products, today we are using a dedicated product for golf carts, Renew Protect Cart. This is, it's got quite a bite to it to, to correct damage in gel coat paint and also your acrylic windscreen and your vinyl enclosures your clear vinyl can be buffed as well um, so the compounds are quite unique in cart they break down to a, a fine polish this can be a one step if you like you buff it out one time and you'll get a finish looking just like that with considerable longevity this is a high-grade carnauba infused with nano ceramics so you're really not going to find much stronger than nano ceramics and the carnauba i like for the fact that it really enhances color and shine the longevity aspect of it would be 
the ceramics. And also a ceramic infused polish detailer. This is a cleaner spray detailer. It also has a high grade carnauba. It has paint sealers, polymer paint sealers, and the nano ceramic as well with polishing agents. You can actually use this, you know, buff this on to a cart as a final finish or a cart that is good shape. Use polishing pad or microfiber pad and use this as a fine finish polish or use this for regular cleaning. If you've got, uh, say, a new fleet of cards, carts for a club, um, you don't require a machine buffing. This, this is all you will need. This and Renew Protect black, satin, or gloss, and you can maintain that cart infinitely in an as new condition. So while we're discussing, we got the pads covered, uh, microfiber towels, only microfiber towels. You never want to use on any vehicle, interior or exterior, a cotton or any other blend. Cotton towels and such can um, actually scratch the paint surface. It can scratch the acrylic. It can scratch tinted glass. So I think I said enough on that. Only microfiber. And I think we covered. I think we're good on that. So let's move on to the next step of correcting the gel coat and the acrylic windscreen. Okay, Little 77 has taken a lot of abuse on a professional course in the weather, as you can see. So let's, let's do a spot and show you what it can, how easy this is. Anybody can do this. Let's take our palm sander. I'm gonna microfiber uh, pad. I wanna lubricate that pad, especially starting out with a new pad. This cart will probably take three to four pads. Your pads will build up as you see, contaminants and imperfections will build up in your pad. So I'm using a bit excess of product for my first run because I really want to lubricate this pad and I'm working the product with microfiber you really want to work the product down into the fibers repeatedly as you buff as you add product okay low speed spread my product so we've spread the product we're going to take our speed back up all the way buff slowly and give the product time to generate heat and work the surface with the polishing and compound agents. Another trick I like, which I use when I'm using that machine on a cart or a car, works quite well for a car. Oh, and before I forget, you see the level of paint, gel coat, and contaminants and such that are being worked off the surface. So as I said, you will need probably two, three, four pads to do a cart in this condition. But to, for ease of use, a spray detailer and wipe your surface. How about that for a change? So that's a one buff over, spray detailer, boom. And while we're here, vinyl. You can buff vinyl. Vinyl fades, of course, just as any surface. So I'm gonna lubricate it. I like to lubricate my vinyl a little more so just as I do my acrylic windscreen and my clear vinyl windows. I'm gonna go just a little lower speed. a little less time on it than I would a painted surface. I'm just going to hit it a little less or so than your gel coat or you would per se a car clear coat. 
So, basically a new sticker on your newly refinished gel coat. So carts that are in good shape, or as this one, have had a first step buffing with Renew Protect cart. If you wanted to go, if you want to add a fine finish and a really high shine and long-term protection, we can go, as I said, go once again with RP11 and or just use it as a, um, a cleaner for the entire cart. But we'll do a quick buff, polish pad, our windscreen, our front end, give it a, a second finish, so to speak. So you want to lubricate your pad, especially with a new pad. Always give it lubricant and spread your product at a low speed. We're going to take the speed up to about a medium now, considering this is just a fine finish polish and a light pressure. Let the machine do the majority of the work for you. And you notice I'm moving a little faster because this is a fine finish product. I'm not out to do intensive corrections. I'm just adding longevity, depth of color, and shine. And now for our acrylic. Same process. Take my speed up to about a medium now. So that will very much be a rain -X effect, so to speak. This will leave a hydrophobic surface. So your cart, your windscreen, everything's just going to roll off. You'll notice your cart after use of Renew Protect. Let me cut that off. After use of Renew Protect products, you'll notice your cart is just hydrophobic. It's going to stay clean, uh, much cleaner. It'll be much easier to clean. You may just need to spray it off with water. I hear that quite a lot. So microfiber towel. And that's it. That is a fine finish on this cart. Remember where we began before picture? So that's one year. Recommend buffing one year with cart. Follow up with RP11. Actually, if you use RP11 on a regular basis for regular cleanings four times a year or more, no need to buff it again. I'm going to lubricate the pad lightly lubricate the surface. Very important with wet sanding and working with acrylic. I like to add a little more lubricant. And a little surplus of product. Our cart compound polish and sealer. So I'm going to spread the product. I'm going to up my speed to nearly full. Let's talk about clear vinyl enclosures. You can also correct, buff, and coat clear vinyl enclosures. We're going to use cart, of course, and give this a, a fine polish take out some of the slight damage in the surface there and as well it'll be sealed the carnauba wax ceramic infused carnauba wax we as a base we've got support behind it by the windscreen which we have pre-cleaned you don't want to buff against anything abrasive uh, any dirt particles make sure the back support is clean if you just take the side panels off lay them down on a clean surface over a towel or something so they do not get scratched on the reverse side so we're going to spread the product evenly. Now we're going to buff with about 10 pounds of pressure at a medium speed. Um, 
vinyl is, has a skin on it, a layer, which is quite porous, which is why it gets dirty and stays dirty. So, my favorite trick, after a general cleaning, use a general cleaner and one of these little dense foam cleaning pads, which you can get quite cheap online, and clean it again for a second time. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but you see what I'm pulling out, literally pulling out of this porous surface. So once we get it clean, we're going to seal it with satin and it won't be an issue again. Satin will lock over and uh, not allow dirt to penetrate the vinyl. And of course, it's going to protect the vinyl against UV. Our cart detail is done. So what do you think of Little 77? We've added about $300 in value, resale value, with the Renew Protect products and a little buffing. Renewed all the plastics, permanent renewal, as you see on the flooring. The seats cleaned and renewed with a coat of satin or low gloss. Tires sealed for six months. Bumpers restored, heat gun treatment, and a coat of black on top of that. The rear plastics fully restored with black. All right, that's it, ready for resale.